Developers, welcome to TechEV.com, your solution providers. My name is Jack, and today I will introduce you a software called Crazy Talk Animator. Uh, it is the second version, the second edition, and uh, it is a 2D animation software. Uh, in my opinion, very helpful. So let me give you a tour. Okay, uh, in the right of our screen, we've got the Content Manager window. Uh, this is where we get uh, all our sources from. We've got the project panel where we the, where we can uh, take the, everything we have uh, ready from other projects. We have the actor panel uh, where we can put a character in here. This is the scene and the blue rectangle is uh, what is seen uh, in the scenery each time. So let's pick a character uh, from G1. G1 stands for Generation 1. Uh, for example, let's pick uh, Eddie over here. He looks like a nice guy. I can either drag uh, the, uh, the character or double click on the character. Uh, okay. So this is Eddie. Uh, I can move him here and there. And uh, I can also rota uh, rotate Eddie. And I can move him also in the Z axis. You can see all those attributes over here the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis, and the W axis. And we got the rotation as well. Height. And everything is over here. Uh, a good thing about Crazy Dog Animator is that uh, you can customize your animation character and uh, you can choose separately uh, the head with the body. So I will go here and I will put this head on Eddie's body and Let's choose a different body, maybe um, this one. So you see, you can customize and make your own character and uh, your own actor. Okay, so next we've got the animation uh, panel. This panel uh, contains moves, motions, uh, performances and faces that the actors uh, can do and uh, again you have templates given from the software in the software and you can also make your custom animations uh, then we have the scene panel where we can uh, put our backgrounds or uh, an image layer that can be imported by us and uh, scenes also imported or made by us or even the software scenes that we can use. Um, let me give you an example. I will uh, place a background. Uh, I will place a classroom over here as a background. And in a minute you will see the difference between uh, all those three different things. Uh, in the prop section, you can find uh, different objects for every background that you use. For instance, we now are in the classroom, so we can use a chair. Sorry, a, oh, forgive me, a chair and a desk. Now, by playing with those two objects in the X, the Y, and the Z axis, I can uh, make a more 3D like uh, scenery. Uh, also, now that we have our scenery set, uh, we can uh, put in an actor. For now, let's just insert a character. There we go. And uh, as for the scene, uh, we can also choose to insert um, a general background 
this one. You see, the difference is uh, that, okay, you will see the difference now. The background is put here, and uh, you can move it around, but you see, this is the, the trick that uh, we have the background, but we also have uh, the white uh, scene in the middle. So we want to get rid of that because it gets in front of the background and the, the scenery that we have made. Uh, but before we do that, let me show you the 3D preview that we can put on the scenery. See? And now we can uh, actually figure the distance between uh, the animation and the objects and the actor, which is very great. And uh, okay, let's get rid of all those things now. That's better. And let's just keep uh, this actress for now. And then we have the special effects, which are objects and sounds or texts. You can see that in the objects uh, file. We have um, nothing for now because it is not uh, included in the software. But you can insert your own objects in many different uh, forms. Uh, then we have uh, texts from comics or subtitles and uh, we also have sound which um, is mostly in this file um, sound effects used for uh, different circumstances okay so let's check out uh, the animation section and uh, what we can do with it okay let's say we want our animation to proceed and our actress to make a face we open the face folder and we can make her uh, angry by dragging and by clicking and dragging and then uh, this is the play button you can see she doesn't look angry at all and uh, these you uh, these uh, faces work mostly with uh, 3D characters, but uh, they should be decent with 3D characters as well. Now we can go to um, okay. So um, over here we have. Um, Okay, so over here we have the tool zone. Uh, those are all the tools that we can use to make our animation. And the most useful and easy to use are uh, this one, the script creation, and uh, this one, the puppet editor. Um, You can also use the tools given in this section of the window and uh, explore your options. For instance, by pressing this button, we can uh, turn around the character like that, uh, either a vertical or horizontal flip, like we did right now. And uh, of course, we have our camera view where we're recording and we can zoom in or out. So that's the first introduction to Crazy Talk Animator 2. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment and I will do my best to reply. For more tricks and tips, uh, visit akv.com. And uh, until the next time, take care.